guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Last time we defeated the Chocobo Eater! This time I had intended on uh, applying, you know, the ending to the battle and showing you, uh, showing you guys me getting the next weapon, but the one that I ended up wanting to keep was one I didn't expect that I was going to want. So I wasn't recording at the time. But yeah, I got incredibly lucky, and I got both a Strength plus 10 and plus 5 weapon for Titus. Um, that's an incredibly rare drop. It's rare enough to get something with Strength plus 5, let alone Strength plus 10. I probably fought the guy 10 times off screen and never managed to get anything for Orn or Lulu, which I would have much preferred to have gotten. I did end up getting a weapon with uh, 10 plus strength and a free slot for Waka, uh, but I think this is probably a little bit better going forward since I'll be doing more overkilling with Titus than I will with Waka. And the way I plan to use Waka going forward is really kind of more reliant on elemental weapons anyway. But regardless of that, that's an incredibly lucky drop. Like, like I said, it took me like 10 tries to get something even useful, so I wouldn't go out of my way to farm that normally. I just wanted, I was hoping, to get something for Warren or something for Lulu since they would have benefited from it. Titus, he's going to get the ability to do this much damage, you know, in like four or five areas anyway. So it's, you know, it's nice for now, but it's also unnecessary. Okay, with that being said... There are branches of my travel agency all over Spira. Cool. Your patronage is always welcome. Yeah, all right. So now that we've taken care of all that, the next thing we're gonna do is Blitzball. And for those of you who are not looking forward to this, join the club. It's actually not as bad as uh, many people put it out to me. In fact, the uh, first time I played the game, I really enjoyed playing Blitzball. I was trying to figure out why everyone disliked it. But then again, I didn't do the 30 some odd games you had to do in order to get uh, an ultimate weapon and didn't realize that I had to and just kind of abandoned that whole idea. But uh, this time we're going to get said ultimate weapon, but not right now. For now, we're going to pick up Attack Reels as a prize for a tournament. Now, Attack Reels you can get right away. It's the next overdrive for Waka, and it's going to be far more useful than most of the other overdrives that, that we're going to get in the rest of the game. In fact, it's going to be the only one that Waka's going to use throughout the rest of the game. Now, in order to do this, we need to win this tournament. I showed you how to kind of spawn this uh, in the previous episode there. Uh, but anyway, so they're going to set up a league here, and the league is 10 games. You play 10 games. Whoever has the most points gets first place, second, and so on. And the top score is the top score in the, in the entire tournament, which should almost always be you. Uh, the tournament also has uh, prizes for the top score, not that that particularly matters. More so, we're interested in getting the attack reels. So once you've collected your team members uh, from across the uh, the area that we've been to so far, select tournament. And in this case, we didn't get seated. Um, you can get seated just like uh, the Aurochs did in the actual storyline tournament, and you can skip the first match altogether. In this case, we're going up against the Guado. Guado are one of the more difficult teams, but not the most difficult teams. So we want Titus on the left, and we want uh, Biggs on the right, and in the middle we want the Ronso. And on left defense, I'm going to put Rop, and on right defense, I'm going to put Zalitz, and Jamal is going to go in net. Now, um, the characters that I've chosen here may or may not be the best possible choices for a low-level uh, Blitzball. These are just happen to be the ones that I've found particularly useful at this point in the game. These are not the ones I'll end up playing with uh, at the end of the game when we do all the remaining Blitzball stuff. Right now, we're just going to get attack reels. So it's entirely up to you how you want to set things up. Now, Rob starts off at level five. I think everyone else is like level one. Uh, so he already has a slot. And I think every time like you get a an accessory slot or a technique slot here, and every time I think you get five levels, you get another one up until four max or something like that. 
Something like that, anyway. So Titus is going to have the jack shot, and no one else other than Rop is able to uh, do that for now. Drain Tackle 3, uh, let's see here, is going to use far more points than uh, we have. Just take a look at here. It uses, actually it doesn't cost any HP to use this one. Yeah, never mind. But uh, it's, it's still not my favorite thing to use early on. Uh, there are a number of techniques that do a number of different things. Let's just go over things kind of briefly. So anything with drain on it will drain HP from opposing players. Anything with wither on it will inflict a status effect with a percentage chance. Lowers the endurance stat, meaning they won't be able to be attacked and uh, defend themselves. Their pass stat, obvious, and their shot stat, also obvious. Now, uh, let's see, uh, previous page. Depending on what you want to do, oh yeah, and uh, the other elements we have are Venom, which will inflict poison, which means your HP drains lower. As you move around in the pool, your HP will drain as is, but with Venom on it, does lower. You get poisoned or whatever. I don't care for it. Nap is probably the worst one. It puts your opponents to sleep. And I'll go into how all this stuff works. For now, I think I'm going to go with the uh, nap pass there. Uh, we'll make other changes as things go. Now, when it comes to mark, you can mark uh, a player. In this case, none of them are using any text. So we don't have to worry about that. We'll just skip that all together and we'll work on that after. Now that we've got the first unfair Blitzball battle out of the way, our match, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to go and give kind of a more detailed description of how this works. Okay, so first things first, don't pull anybody in. So the reason why I want the Ronso up front is because if you look up in the top right, he's got high endurance stat and a high HP, meaning he's going to get the ball a lot because he's in the center and he'll be able to pass the ball away, he's got a decent pass stat, and he'll be able to withstand tackles from opposing players. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to pass, uh, and then as you're passing around, you can see where your characters are uh, by the circle on the mini-map, but you can also see, if you look in the top right corner, what their stats are. So if you look at Biggs there, he's got a high shut stat, but he's got a relatively low pass stat, so I don't really wanna pass to him. Uh, Rop has a great pass stat, horrible uh, shot stat, but he's also got high endurance and he has decently high attack stat as well, which you can't see at the moment. Zalitz has a really high attack stat, low relatively everything else, but I still find him rather effective compared to some of the other players we had. Uh, the players we had before are much worse than the ones we have now, and the ones we have will gain stats very frequently up at the very beginning. Now, there are two methods for going forward of how you would uh, play the game. Uh, one is you just go and try and get as many goals as possible, so you're not going to lose. The other one is you get a safety goal, and then you pass the ball back and forth, because every time you complete an action, you gain experience points. And as you gain experience points, you gain levels. And the higher your levels are, the more techs you have on, the more HP you have, the higher your stats go, and the easier the game gets. Now this might top off and get more difficult way at the end, but you shouldn't be above like level 30 by the time you're finished all your Blitzball stuff anyway, so it really doesn't matter. It'll be easy up until like level 50. That's as far as I've ever gotten in this game and you don't even need to do that. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start passing the ball around to gain everybody a little bit of experience. And you'll, uh, one other thing to note is uh, You'll want to press the square button or the left button on the uh, nope on the, your controller when you're just floating around with the ball, and that will stop play and give you a choice on what you want to do. See, someone was in my circle, so I'm going to have to break through them. The Guado are really fast, but luckily they don't have particularly high attack stats, so we can break him pretty easily. Which, if you look on the top right, it'll use their attack stat, their AT stat of 3, to attack my endurance stat of 9. And so, even with the random factor, that's not going to do much of anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pass. Now you get a basic 2 experience for every action, and 4 experience if you use a technique, like if I had used nap pass there. I'm not going to bother right now because it's kind of unnecessary, but uh, anyway. Now that I've gotten the ball up to Titus here, you're going to move up a little bit, I'm trying to avoid, I was hoping to avoid you because he's got relatively high uh, 
points there. So we're going to try and break to him. I didn't want him. If you go dribble, basically you'll be able to maintain the ball after you get tackled, which is nice. Now, because they're so fast, they're probably going to end up catching me. Yeah, they both ended up getting it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the jack shot. And that way I'm going to block both of them out of the way. So neither of their attack stats or their block stats will have anything to do with my shot. And you want to get as close as possible to the front of the goal. Because as the ball travels, either via pass or via shot, the uh, value will start to decrease. And if your shot stat is lower than the goalie's catch stat by the time if the ball reaches him, chances are it's not going to go in. Okay, so if you notice this guy, he's got, he's going to try and dribble because he wants Titus to tackle him because Titus is not very good at tackling. Now, there's no way to force the other players uh, uh, to do anything at a specific spot, even if you're spamming the square button, though you'll probably hear me try and do that anyway. This is why I like Zalix. He's got 15 attack. He is really, really good at attacking uh, the enemies and taking the ball from them. His other stats are relatively low, so what we're going to do is we pair him off with Rop, who has basically the opposite stats being high. And then he can get the pass to him, and then we can use him to, say, pass to someone like Biggs. Now that I've got one goal, I don't really need to worry too much about, you know, trying to, to stay alive. Uh, we can break through you pretty easily, and then we're going to pass back, and basically, each time we complete the action of passing, we're going to get a little more experience for each of our characters, and I want each of them to be able to level up a little bit, just to make my life a little easier. Now, unfortunately, since the uh, Guado are so fast, it's going to be somewhat difficult to do that. And now, also note that... If you remember, Titus used the jack shot. Now he's only got 45 HP. Every time you use a technique, it usually consumes some of your HP. If you run out of HP, you can still do stuff, but it just becomes more and more difficult. Uh, you know, you can't use any tags. You're going to get hit by status effects more often. That kind of thing. So we just get uh, Titus a little closer here so that he can pass to uh, Rob. As you can see, his uh, stat, his pass stat disappears really quickly when he tries to uh, pass to anyone. So we're going to pass to Zalot. Zalot is going to have a hard time gaining experience because there's going to be a lot of situations where he's not going to be particularly useful. But basically, now that I've got my, my one goal lead, I don't need to worry too much about all the other things. I don't particularly need the, uh, uh, the whatever the prize is for... Uh, getting the top score, so I'm not worried about that. So I'm just going to pass back and forth over and over again until I get kind of levels up. Now, Biggs and uh, Zalots normally don't get as much experience because I don't tend to play the right side of the pool very often. So I'm going to have them pass back and forth until they get a few more experience points so they get closer to level up. Because the other t three players, your main guy, your, your center, Titus on the left, and your left defense, they tend to get more experience, especially how I play. So basically, I'm using all the time I can because the play stops as soon as you get, uh, as soon as you have your, you know, get control of the ball there and have a choice to make. And we're going to pass back and forth just to make things a lot easier. Okay, now that I've got that, I'm going to pass to, yeah, we'll pa pass to the Ron, so he should be able to catch that. And then the Ronzo's going to pass to Titus there. Titus isn't going to have time to score, but Titus is going to get another action off here. We're going to pass over to Rop there. I don't know if he has to actually catch the ball for you to get the experience points or not. I haven't been able to test that. But basically, you'll notice the amount of experience the opposing team, this is them, they got two for their goalie. Every time the goalie tries to do anything, take a shot, he gets experience. And the thing is, they don't level up that way. So what this does is it levels up your own characters while keeping the other opposing characters lower level, which will make it easier for you in the long run. As you can see, I got a lot more experience than that. 
it's not even by any stretch of the imagination. Actually, I think you get two experience guaranteed for your goalie each period or each half anyway. But each time they handle the ball, they get another two experience. As you can see there, Rop's already much higher level than everyone else. But yeah, as you can see, everyone's gaining kind of some levels there. And as soon as you hit level three, you get access to your slots. And here it'll show you the amount of experience or the experience and what stats actually went up, which will make life a little easier for some of my characters. And once you've set your positions once, it'll load the characters in that order. So you just have to spam the buttons every time and you get your players kind of in there. Uh, Titus still wants a jack shot, Rop still wants nap pass, Zolitz usually comes with a bunch of tackles. Uh, the other thing that he has that could be useful is high risk. Now, the equip cost of this is 300 HP, which he doesn't have yet, uh, but it lowers your stats to half, but doubles your experience points so you can level up faster. I'm not particularly worried about that, so I'm not going to do that now, but you could make use of it later. Uh, Wither is Wither and Nap are the two best uh, status effects to make use of in this game because they lower the stats or they, in the case of Nap, it'll knock a player out and they'll do, be, not be able to do anything until you try and throw a pass at them or shoot against them uh, if they're a goalie. So I'm going to use Wither Tackle here. It'll up his attack stat even more, not that he needs it, but uh, anyway, that's there. Now, I'm not going to be able to mark them because until they get level 3, they're not going to have any uh, things that I can copy. So we won't have to worry about mark, and we'll get back in here. Now, I am going to go for another goal in this half just to make my life a little bit easier. Um, just so that I have that extra bit of security. Now, you can go up the, the gut here a little bit, and then... Oops, I dragged... Oh, I thought I dragged somebody else in. That's good. Did not want to do that. So now we want to pass. And we're going to pass to Rob, since I think I can make that pass. Notice in the top right how the pass stat decreases as it uh, floats through the water there. Now we're going to use the same strategy we did before. We're going to draw one of these guys in, which doesn't matter. And then we're going to pass up to Titus. Now, you only have so much HP, and every time you use something like a nap pass, you're going to run lower on HP. I would hold off early in the game. Basically, the game plays differently as time goes on. But early in the game, I would avoid using those until the second half of the half. So at like the three minute mark, then you'll start using all your techs. And that'll just make life a little bit uh, easier for you. Now, this time... I'm going to move right up and no one's even in my way and I'm right in front of the goal so I'm just going to use a normal shot. I don't need to use the jack shot here. Oh and he got the lucky RNG and he caught it. That kind of sucks but um, anyway we'll have another chance to uh, score as time goes by. Unfortunately the Guado are a little on the fast side and even though he could have just shot he's going to pass. That, that's fine. Sure. The, uh, the the characters aren't particularly bright, and you could have shot again. What are you guys doing? The AI in this game is abysmal. So abysmal. And because you played around too much, Zalitz is on defense. You're not getting that shot through. Otherwise, if okay, you are getting that shot through. Doesn't matter. Jamal has 14 catch, where Keepa had like 5 or 6, which is why uh, I was much happier getting... Uh, See, do that, and then we'll pass. Which is why I'm much happier now that I've got Jamal going instead of uh, what we had before there. So we're going to pass to Biggs here. And then I'm going to get Biggs to pass to the Ronso. And then I'm going to have the Ronso pass to... Yeah, we can pass to Rop, sure, why not? Now, unfortunately, that gets you in the way, but your stats aren't uh, high enough to really have me worry about it at this point. And now we're going to pass to Titus here. This time, we're going to go for the jet shot, and we're going to go straight up, uh, and hopefully only have to deal with one of these guys, but maybe two. Um... 
Now I'm going to have to try and break and then dribble. I'm too far away from the goal right now. So let's uh, try this again here. So even though there's only one person, we're going to, like if I tried to break him, I could probably do that almost guaranteed. But we're going to say no and we're going to use the jack shot since we're almost at the three minute mark anyway. And we're probably not going to have another opportunity to uh, use that. So yeah, we don't have to worry about his block stat now that we've done that. And we got our second goal, so that's our safety goal. So they have to get two goals to even tie us up here, so we're not worried about that happening. Now, I'm not going to use or show off all the Blitzball games that I play. I'm going to basically show off this one. And then I might show off the second half of the final match in this little tournament here. I'll probably do the next match off screen unless it's against the Elbed because the Elbed is a completely different type of uh, game altogether. But uh, against most of the teams, you know, like the the Guado are fast, so that's what you have to take into account. The Ronso are slow, so you can usually take advantage of that, but they have high stats and they can attack you quite well as well as have good shot. There we go. And now I'm just gonna pass back and forth here. Uh, you, oftentimes what I'll do is I'll pass between my defense. Uh, in this case, Rob really doesn't need the ball all that much because he's got much higher experience, but we'll use the, uh, the nap pass there anyway. In fact, I might be able to sneak. Biggs is somewhat fast, so I'm gonna sneak him uh, in behind the uh, defense here. Nope. Yeah, that's not going to work at all, is it? Yep, definitely not. Oh, we'll try and shoot through him. It probably won't work, but oh well. It gives him another action to do, so we'll get some experience. Nope, it didn't work. But yeah, so the Ronso are slow, but they have high stats. Uh, Kilika, nothing spectacular about them. And Luca, nothing spectacular about them. The Elbed... They have the best goalie in the game. There you go. You see why I, de I decide to pass around a bunch? So I get everyone a little bit of experience so that they can get stronger and stronger as time goes on. You'll notice that specific characters will gain specific types of, types of stats here. Uh, Titus's and Biggs are relatively low on the attack and the block stat. The block stat is what you use to... Uh, prevent other character, like if they have the ball and they're going to pass or they're going to shoot, you use your block stat to minus away from their shot or their pass stat. Uh, it's kind of like the, uh, depending on the situation, the alternative to the attack stat. Uh, but yeah, the, your shooters tend to have high endurance and high shot stats, but low pass, low block, and low attack. The Ronso, like I said, they're relatively balanced. They have high HP, but they're slow. You'll notice the speed stat in the uh, top left there. Uh, 57 there, 60 for Titus, only 52 for you. Rob, I think he's all bad. He's got 60, and Zalitz is also, I think, all bad. The all bad are really good at Blitzball, by the way, and you're going to use a lot of the all bad going forward. Uh, Jamal, I think, is just a regular guy. He's just got really high catch stat, and he's got the best catch stat of any of the players you can get right now. But yeah, uh, someone like Zalitz, he's got low endurance, low pass, low shot, high attack, and high block. So he's great for defense, but he's not so good to try and break through the opposing players. Rop is really much an all-around great player. Uh, Rop is one of the best players, I think, in the game. And we're going to use him straight from now through all the flitz ball we do. So anyway, now that we've done that... Uh, we've won the first match here, and on the other side, the Ronso beat Luca. That's fine. And now I get to play the Elbed. Oh no. Anyway, so we're going to go back for now, and we're going to go save since we did that. Now, I went into more detail here than is probably necessary, but I just wanted to kind of give an overview of how Blitzball works and how I'm going to kind of treat it early on. I want to build up my stats as much as I can, because the higher your level, the easier the game gets. Uh, to a point, probably, but 
at least right now, we want to gain higher levels. So I'm going to take a couple of goals and then pass back and forth. The next game is against the L bed and the L bed are a little bit different. So we're going to have to show off a slightly, not slightly different, but a little bit different strategy going into that game. But that's pretty much all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.